All right, so now that we have our API information that we are going to grab from, now we are going to start building this in React. So uh, if you need a little uh, intro into what we are building, go ahead and go back in the video series. But right now we are going to go to the terminal. Let's see, I'm going to go up all the way. So I'm going to CD into my GitHub folder. That's where I like to keep everything. So now we are going to do create react app and I am going to call this color fun. So this is going to start downloading all of the fun react stuff. And so as it's downloading, I also want to touch base on what we are actually going to be using uh, to get all of this API information to then put it out on the screen for us. So we are going to be doing Axios JS. So we can do a Google search for that. Go, just go up to the top. So this is a package that we are going to be using. Um, this is the documentation for it and it also breaks down kind of like what we are going to be going over. Uh, we are only going to be going over a get request um, but obviously this will help you do like the full crud uh, of everything. Um, create, read, update, and delete. That's what crud is if you're new to this. Um, yeah, so it just goes over it. Also, will break down if you have like a key for your API, how to configure that as well. So it's it's pretty handy. It's pretty great. Um, so you can go ahead and do a quick Google search for that if you want to read more about it. So let's see our download. It's still going. It's definitely a lot to take in. All right, cool. I love it when it tells you happy hacking. Okay, so we also need a couple of other packages. We need npm install, capital S for saving it locally so it doesn't accidentally do it globally. We need Redux. Um, which one How does it go? Redux, React, and Axios. Then we hit enter. Oh, my bad, I forgot to CD into it. So CD, um, color fun, and then let's go ahead and do that again. It's no harm, no foul that it happened in the other place. You can just go back and if, if it did download any modules, you just delete it. All right, so it's there. Great stuff. So let's go ahead and open it in your favorite text editor. So I'm just going to go here, color fun. I'm just going to drag it into Visual Studios. That's what I like to use. All right, actually, and always what I like to do, I'll go to color fun and go to source. And then I leave the the index.js and the index.css, but um, I was taught to get rid of these other ones, so I'm going to do that now. Um, and there's many different ways that you can use React. Um, but this just happens to be the way that I do it. All right, so we have this information. So now what we are going to start to do is just build the foundation. So we're just going to be getting our components um, for the box and the button pretty much in the container so we can get that going. So for React, uh, we don't have this anymore. And we don't need that. Okay, so we say class app extends React component under return. All right, that's just going to be a diff for now until we import other things. So we are going to make two folders. One is going to be our container folder, and the other one is going to be our components folder. 
Um, and we're not going to have like too many pieces in this particular app, but having it broken down into this way like really helps once you start getting into much bigger applications. So it's always good to be starting and keeping organized um, when we are even just beginning. So let's get a new file and let's just call this box container.js and then we're going to have this and we're just going to call it box.js. All right, so let's go ahead and build this as import react. And then we do class. I just like to keep it simple, box con short for box container, extends react, component, render, return. We'll just put a div there for now. And then we have to export default box con. Okay, so let's go ahead and import this into our index. Import box con from. So we have to get the dot and the slash to know that it's a path. And we say container slash box container dot js. And then down here, tell it where it's at. And since this is the only thing that's going to be in here for now, I'm just going to have it as box con, have it closed. So that should be fine. All right, so let's go ahead and build our component then. So import react from react. Class box extends react component render return. All right, in here I'm actually going to have a div and I'm also going to have a button. And more pretty. Uh, so button, I'm just gonna say change color. Okay, pretty simple for now. So export default box. All right, the last step to kind of connect everything is going to be here in the box container, and I'm going to import it. Import box from component box.js. Right, and note the two dots because we have to go out of the container folder and then into the component folder, so it has to go up. All right, so in here, I'm just going to have box. All right, so everything should be in place. Let's go ahead and test this out. So we just say, we go back to our terminal and we say npm start. And we should already still be in our color fun folder to get this going. All right, this is the original one, so it's gonna be switching over here in a minute once it loads. There we go, all right. Cool, so everything's working, we're not getting any errors, so it's not really much to look at yet. It just has this button saying change color, but at least we know that everything's working. So, uh, let's go ahead and quickly style this. Let's see. Quickly style this. Da -da -da. I'm gonna give this a class name equals box. Um, and then actually, also going to get this another thing. I'm going to say class name equals wrapper. You're going to wrap everything inside of it like this. Go ahead and add some styling to this any way you want. All right, great, cool. So now that's fully covered, 
Um, all right, cool. So now that we have all of the base uh, set out, now we are going to get into the really fun part, which is connecting everything uh, with, uh, we're going to set up Axios and our API and get that all connected. And then we're going to pass it down through um, props so we can click this button.